what's up guys peter here back with another video and today we have a huge video and you guys are probably looking at the title oh what mascot glitch jetpack glitch what is all of this stuff i'm gonna be explaining to you how all of these are in nba 2k17 yes they are in nba 2k17 but the way it works is actually pretty complicated so i'm gonna be explaining everything to you guys in this video how to do it how everything works out and you guys will understand how all this works because like basically real glitches are starting to get washed out by fake glitches and that really like when you see a real glitch it just a lot of people assume it's fake this year but uh basically this is completely real it's i don't know it's completely breaking 2k so yeah make sure you guys smash that like button down below let's see if we can hit 500 likes and if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe for more daily nba 2k17 content and let's get right into it so out of the two consoles we have ps4 and xbox xbox has been the console that's known to be glitchy uh last year just off the top of my head i know we had the mascot glitch the original one that did supposedly get patched but then the mascot glitch 2.0 as i like to call it that was actually put back into the game after they supposedly patched it just in a different way uh we had the tiger glitch we had the skateboard glitch we had the rep glitch we had the switch parks without losing rep glitch so another kind of rep glitch we had the offline glitch where if people uh, had you added even if you were appearing offline they would see your name pop up uh, You had a lot of glitches and on top of that We had all these glitches that wouldn't give us any advantage that we just didn't like that We couldn't control stuff like that, right? So Xbox was known to have Like it was just known to be glitch prone, right? A lot of those glitches were not on ps4 this year We have not really had a real glitch like that. I mean we've had a lot of fake glitches We have had like some glitches, but no big game-breaking glitch uh, that's just huge right that completely breaks the game but now all we got everything at once and it's just crazy how this all happened but let me explain you guys and you're like oh how do you gonna basically be a superstar five at rookie one uh this is how it works so the foundation for this glitch or basically the original part of this glitch is a rep glitch and this rep glitch is basically uh switch parks without losing reps so you can go from sunset to old town and instead of being reset to rookie one uh, you can stay at whatever rep you were at so say you were a superstar 2 or whatever then you will not have to play like 3,000 more games to rep up so it'll it basically gives you free rep or a rep boost from rookie one which you would normally be at so that's the basic part of this glitch now last year we had this very similar glitch they patched it or they just not like they did not put it in the game this year and there is kind of like a side part of this glitch when you did this glitch it would reset your my players do you guys know that screen when you do get on the game and it would be like like when you first get on it says oh you're my player like start playing 2k by creating your my player and then it makes you create one and uh, make your my player count or it does all that right so it would just reset your my player's appearance now this year instead of doing that it'll transfer from another account so basically to do this glitch you have to use a dummy account and this year uh the dummy account will actually transfer the my player to your account so uh, last year it would just reset it but this year it transfers it and that's huge now it's not the same glitch as last year because this year you have to use the prelude and stuff but uh basically it'll transfer your my player and to go along with your my player's appearance it will transfer everything equipped to it and that means that basically if you have a jetpack equipped if you have a skateboard equipped if you have a mascot equipped that if you're if you don't have a shirt equipped aka the shirtless part of this glitch all of that will transfer this was confirmed today that it does work on any account so all you would need is like a superstar 5 account or somebody who's uh, theoretically somebody who's done this glitch with a superstar 5 so once one superstar 5 basically does this glitch then we're all getting jetpacks i guess and you like you need superstar one for shirtless superstar three for mascots etc right so that's basically how this glitch does work uh and basically if you do this switch parks without losing rep now you could do this twice so you could still stay in the same park and do this glitch but still i mean we're gonna start seeing everybody just walking around the park with freaking jetpacks before superstar five just basically all these rep rewards before they get the actual rep and on top of that you have this rep glitch that will basically boost you from rookie one to whatever rep you were at before 
when switching parts so again i'm not encouraging you guys to do this but basically nobody has gotten banned for a glitch there's literally like all these glitches that people are saying oh you're gonna get banned for and nobody's really gotten banned so there's that part of it and also i know this glitch does work on xbox now i don't know if anybody's even tried it on ps4 so we're still waiting to hear from that this is just crazy we're probably gonna start seeing a bunch of these like low reps with oh maybe a mascot maybe shirtless just like last year oh i forgot we had a shirtless glitch on xbox last year but it's just gonna be crazy now one of the questions you guys are coming up with oh are you going to get banned you're gonna get banned blah, blah, blah. this is what i've concluded this year with all these glitches you have a freaking demigod glitch that makes your seven foot three player a point guard it is super overpowered that soul luminati did that all these big youtubers did obvious like they did it super obviously and nobody got banned you had a 98 overall glitch everybody did that nobody got banned you have people boosting literally for mountain dew for unlimited boosts that saves them a lot of money and basically makes 2k lose money which is what they all care about nobody has gotten banned so i'm not telling you guys to do this glitch but just based on that i don't really think you're going to get banned 2k does not pay attention to us i'm just telling you like Who's really gotten banned this year completely? Let me know what you guys think of this glitch in the comment section below. And I mean, at this point, Xbox 2K is just completely broken. Last year, it was like this as well, but we didn't even have server issues. Now we have the server issues on top of that. So it's just completely broken. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Again, make sure you guys smash that like button down below. See so if you can hit 500 likes and subscribe if you're new for more daily NBA 2K17 content. Now for the loyal viewers that have been watching the whole video, you guys are probably wondering, oh, how do I do this glitch? my man power did make a tutorial on how to do this glitch i'm gonna leave a link to it in the description below if you guys want to know how to do it and also like as i said before it was just recently discovered that this does also work with uh whatever basically jetpack or whatever so basically whatever account you use as the second account for this glitch and you you will see what i mean by that when you watch the tutorial uh whatever that account has equipped on their my player uh, will transfer to yours so if they have a jetpack equipped if they're superstar 5 then they'll transfer to yours or stuff like that so anyway i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace